announces his retirement from the game, citing the pressures of management. The news is a bolt from the blue. What a record Dalgleish leaves. Ronnie Moran takes over as acting manager. Now it's back to Goodison for the second replay. The date, Wednesday, February the 27th. Over 40,000 are packed inside. A marvellous atmosphere. The start delayed to accommodate the crowd. Really, they could have sold the ground out ten times over. Everton with Nevin and Cotty as two very attacking substitutes. Neville Southall, the best in Britain, perhaps the world. The keeper that Liverpool must beat. McCall back in midfield. Liverpool with Bruce Grobelar in goal, the skipper, Glenn Hussein, no McMahon, of course, still injured, David Speedy on the bench, Peter Beardsley back in the number seven shirt. The pressures of management now firmly on Ronnie Moran. Your match commentators once again are Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. moment the problem for Everton is to get the ball here's Rush it's a difficult angle but he's turned well and the duel quickly resumed between two great friends two Welsh internationals and two focal figures in this match Rush does ever so well he knows that Martin Jones committed to the tackle it's a difficult chance but that's a good save again from Neville Southall it started just the way we wanted it to Kendall, who I must say was pretty happy a week ago with the way his team had come back, despite Liverpool's long spells of supremacy, particularly early in the match. Hinchcliffe pushing on down the left, and there are four wearing Everton blue in the middle. Ablett heads it out. Sharp. This is Atterville. Grobelar can't hold it. Atterville goes in again. What a good move from Everton, showing that they are capable of passing the ball again. And as it comes to Atterville, it's a good strike. Bruce Scrubble had trouble because it just bounces in front of him, but recovers and gets hold of it. Good start, good positive start from both teams. Not a negative thought in their minds at this moment, Max. Good to see. Everton first to a loose ball in midfield. They get the free kick. Everton, uh, of course, showed some reaction at the weekend by losing here to Sheffield United. That may well have been a case of after the Lord Mayor show. Put it on first by Sharp, then by Watson in behind Nicol Keogh. It's an extraordinary save by Grobola. And it's forced in. Dave Watson. Well, the aerial look pays dividends for them again, doesn't it? First shot, then Watson. A wonderful save from Bruce Grobola. And who is it that comes in? It's Dave Watson again and rifles into the net. For the first time in this tie, Everton are in front despite the agility of Grobola. Mulvey couldn't deal with the ball as it came off the goalkeeper. And it was the other number five. Dave Watson, a former Liverpool reserve, who thumped Everton into the lead. Atterveld getting the better of Staunton. Here's Newell. It's a useful turn. It's a useful cross. Just veered away at the last from Graham Sharp. It's a great cross in. Your are striker wanting to go with it and I think Graham Sharp will just be a little disappointed he didn't get in front of Barry Venison. Well if he'd done that probably Mike Newell would have put it uh, high to the far post. <laughs> That's the gamble you take clean yes. up front Martin. Rush quickly on Keogh, it's a great chance for Liverpool. 
often, so often for their defensive mistakes. Couldn't provide the equaliser then when he was one on one with Southall. Less than two minutes into the second half. Rush. And it's Nickel who takes it on. It's Nickel who can't beat Southall. Twice in the second half. They've seen the whites of the goalposts and the whites of Neville Southall's eyes. But they haven't put the white of the ball into the back of the net. Great goalkeeping. Off goes uh, Raymond Atterveld, encouraging the crowd to uh, continue their vociferous support, even without him. Barnes. Here's Nickel. Well, hey! It was a, a spectacular save by Southall, but maybe not the most difficult that he's had to make in the match. Well, I, at times, this man amazes me. It's one of the reasons why I feel he's the best goalkeeper in the country at the moment. And what a man to have in your goal when you need him. Not quite for his save. Here's Venison. Nickel. Shot now for Jan Mulvitt and Barnes. There's not much width for Liverpool, but certainly none on the left. A little on the right now, provided by Nickel. Four in the middle for the cross. And Nickel gets it in. Rush! Well, in a normal circumstances, I would be tempted to say this doesn't look like it's Liverpool's day, because I would fancy in Rush to put that in the net from there. That's a very good chance from a, for a striker of his quality. It's a free header, and he's really got to hit the target. So I think he's going to make a change, and he is doing. And no surprise that it's young Davis Pudu. Or should I say, not so young Davis Pudu. Well, Ian Rush has scored at will against Everton in the past for other managers. Ronnie Moran might be thinking, why can't he do it for me? Pinchcliffe. Newell across the goal! Oh. It was headed into uh, the percentage area. It might have gone in, Sharp might have put it in himself. It's a great cross and a totally unselfish header from Mike Newell. He knows he's not going to score. Just how close Graham Sharp is, we'll never know. That would have been the seal, and that would have been the Liverpool's fate. They'll look back on that if Liverpool equalise now. Staunton's cross is an early one. Southall's back pedalling. Retrieved by Speedy. It wouldn't drop for Nicol, he's still got the shot in. Somehow he manufactured it on target. And that took a lot of doing. And Southall had been on his travels. Got back to base. Calm down. I think he looks a lot calmer than he really is, Martin. You cannot emphasise too highly how much it would mean to Everton, who made their worst start to the season, to a season for 40 years. Liverpool have plenty to lose in going out of the FA Cup, but not everything. The crowd thought they heard the whistle, they haven't. Joe Worrell is looking at his linesman. It's almost there, Martin. This cup epic very nearly has a conclusion. It has. David Watson has won it for Everton. But Neville Southall saved it for them in the second half. And Everton are into the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. Great credit to Howard Kendall's players. No disgrace for Liverpool. A bewildering series of events throughout this saga. A fifth round tie which began for Liverpool under the management of Kenny Dalglish. It included a serious candidate for the greatest cup tie of all time. 
So Everton go through. Howard Kendall describing the four-all draw as just about the greatest cup tie of all time. John Barnes says it was the best he'd ever played in. Certainly, we'll all be very lucky to see one like that again.